Looking for a fun and easy background, even one the kids can do with you? Break out the bubble wrap. Begin by protecting your work surface and then adding your cardstock. I'd like to have my cardstock a little bit bigger than my finished project. Place your bubble wrap bubble side up on your work surface. Using your ink pad, you're very gently going to tap the ink onto the bubble wrap. You wanna make sure that you don't pop those air bubbles. Once it's been inked, I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna lay it on my cardstock and I'm lightly going to press. Again, not popping those air bubbles. This is a fantastic technique if you don't have an embossing folder or a background stamp and want a really fun background image. You can see the bubble wrap on this image is slightly larger than the one that I used here. Experiment and find which one is your favorite. It's a great random background technique.